today is the last of the Purple Alphabet Holiday gift guides. It's actually a viewer requested video. You guys said you wanted to see a stocking stuffer idea video. So I pulled together some things that people have sent me through my gift guides and some things that I think would be perfect for stocking stuffers that I've already owned. I'm gonna show you all those ideas. Plus I'm gonna give away one of the items at the end of this video. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. This is the very last day of the Purple Alphabet holiday gift guides, and I'm kind of bummed because this is a lot of fun to, to roll through these. If you didn't know, all of November, I've been showing you some holiday gift guide ideas so you can complete your holiday gift buying list or maybe add to your kids' wish list and what they want for the holidays. And in every one, I've been having a giveaway, so they're still open and you have an opportunity to win. So if you wanna watch, after you watch this video, go back and see all the past videos we've done. I'm gonna put a link down below so you can go straight to it. And then in this video, I'm gonna give away one of the items I'm showing you too. This one's all about stocking stuffer ideas. And so I have kind of a variety. Some of these things have been sent to me to put in my holiday gift guides. Some of them have just been sent to me for review. And some of them I bought myself and I would highly recommend them. So I'm gonna have a whole mixture of ideas and for different age ranges is what I'm gonna try. So you can get some ideas of what you might wanna put into your child's stocking or Santa might want to put into their child's stocking. I hope there were no little ones in here, sorry. And then you can get inspired. I also have an Amazon affiliate store where I've been placing a lot of these things too. So you can go to that. And you can get links right directly to some of these things. So let me tell you what I think would make a great stocking stuffer. So I wanted to show you stocking stuffers that you could use for any age range. So I'm gonna start off with the youngest ones and work our way up a little bit. I showed you these before. They're, these are actually part of another holiday gift guide for babies and toddlers. And they are the Webinub pacifiers. I'm giving away one of these. And then we also have the Webinub lovies. These are great for the smallest ones on your Christmas wish list and make great stocking stuffers too. I talked all about these in that video, so I won't go into it too much, but I do want to let you know that these are available in that gift guide if you are interested in the giveaway, so it's not too late for those. But these are great. They're soft. They squish. They can fit right into there, and I think they're just adorable, so that would be my first pick. My next pick is the O-Ball. Now, I've seen this in various different versions. I love this, and I've talked about this on my channel a long time ago, and I've done some activities with it, too, where you put, like, scarves inside of it and pull it out, but just as a ball, it's amazing because even when your child begins to grasp. This has the holes inside, so it makes it easier for them to grasp and hold on to. This particular one has a rattle inside, which I think is pretty cool too. And I just think it's a really fun, easy baby gift, and it's entertaining, and I just love the colors. Similar to the O-Ball is this one right here, which is from Manhattan Toy. It's called the Winkle Rattle and Sensory Toy Teether. And it's just great because you can really grab onto this. It's it's no matter how you grab onto it, you're gonna grab it, and so then your child will be rewarded and be able to hold it. It has a rattle on it um, and then you can also use it as a teether they can get their teeth around there well if they don't have teeth their gums around there and use it as a teether as well so this one is high on my list too I think this one is excellent and I'd highly recommend that one now for a little bit older baby maybe sitting up I would highly recommend these stacking cups we've used these stacking cups for years upon years and they're so affordable you can use them as stacking toys so you stack them on one another you can put things inside and dump them out you can do color matching you can do all sorts of things with these. I think these are an amazing thing to have and they would fit well into that stocking too. So definitely think stacking cups are a great option and it's very affordable too. And then if you have a child that is sitting in a high chair, I love these. We had one of these when my kids were younger. This is a suction cup that sticks right on to your high chair and it's a wheel so it moves. It's from Sassy it's called the Wonder Wheel Activity Center. So there's little rings on the bottom. There's little texture things all around it that they can move around. There's also a stick on a table and I've been known to take that with me to a restaurant and this was basically basically a restaurant kit all in one. Getting up into the toddler age, I think these are amazing. They're from Crayola, they're called the My First Finger Paint, and I think these are perfect size to put inside the stocking, and then you can also um, divide them up if you have multiple children, but this pack comes with a couple of different colors, and finger painting is a great sensory activity, even for toddlers. Yes, it is messy. Yes, there will be a mess everywhere, but yes, it is fun, and it's great for them. Along the same lines with kind of artsy things are the Crayola My First Palm Grip Crayons, so these will help them hold the crayon in the palm of their hand, which is very similar to a, to a grasp that a baby or toddler will have initially. So those are a really small and a fun item too to get them coloring on some paper. I thought this is pretty interesting. It's from Fat Brain Toys. It's called the Dimple. I've actually played around with this at Toy Fair and it's just basically these little bumps that you can push, you know, back and forth in and out. Kind of like those, those little bumps that are on like a soda lid from a fast food restaurant. I think you guys know what I mean. So I think this is a fun kind of sensory activity and you can start this one at, for ages one to two. 
too. And then books, you guys. This is the perfect age to introduce board books. Sometimes if you introduce board books too early and you leave them unsupervised, you end up with a torn up and very slobbery board book. But <laughs> if you have a channel child that can handle it, I highly recommend a board book. So these are some of my favorites. They're small and they fit very well into a stocking. And then even these baby touch and feel animal books. I like these because they're sensorial and you can put your hand on them and actually feel what the animal might feel like. And I think that's a lot of fun too, that the kids like those. Play-Doh is another a wonderful option for a toddler. Of course, you can buy these individually. You can buy them in a pack and it comes in all sorts of different colors. Play-Doh is great for those fine motor muscles and strengthening those fingers to prepare them for writing. So I highly recommend those. And then of course you could get some Play-Doh tools to include in that as well. There's a lot of them on Amazon. I just found these and I thought they were pretty cool. So you can include some of those if you wanted to take it one step further. I'm a big fan of the little people cars. I think these are perfect for the toddler age and they are kind of sturdy. They're chunky. They're really cute. I just happened to pick this little, little superhero one, but they have all different kinds of styles in these and then some that even look like maybe people in your family. Sidewalk chalk is usually given around Easter time, but I think that you could also do it in the winter time if you live in a climate where you can go outside and use sidewalk chalk. So I included that in here. And of course, that's a really affordable option. And here's a great bath time tool that I picked to put in this video because it can be taken apart and easily put inside too. So this is from Boone. It's a building bath pipe set. So when you put them together, the water will flow through the pipes and it sticks to the wall of your shower. Moving on to about the preschool age. And once again, these are just, you know, ages that are estimates. Your child might be ready for some of these or might not be ready for some of these. But for the preschool age, I recommend the Water Wow. Water Wow is just one of the best amazing things ever invented. You use some water and you color in and the pictures magically appear. And when it dries, you can't see it anymore. So you can do it over again. This is another restaurant kit item. I've been talking about these forever and I'm a huge fan. Another mess free art activity is the Color Wonder, which uses special markers. There are a ton of options on these in every single licensed character, different price points. But if you get a set of these markers and these Color Wonder books, you're going to be set up for some pretty entertaining activities. I also wanted to include my very favorite fine motor set ever. And this one I talk about all the time with activities. And this is makes a perfect stocking stuffer too. And I highly recommend this. It's from Learning Resources. It's called the Helping Hands Fine Motor Toy and Tool Set. There's four pieces in here and they each do a different thing for each tool and you can use them in so many different ways. Similar, there's a set that has tweezers in it, but I'm kind of more interested in the magnifying glass because a magnifying glass will just keep a kid entertained. So if you haven't tried that before, I recommend it. This one's pretty sturdy. I like this one a lot. And then play food is also a fun thing to put inside a stocking too. And there's so many different various ones out there. There's wooden ones, felt ones, plastic ones. You'll be able to find something that suits you. And some of them look really realistic. I like those the best, but this is just an example. A matching game is also really great for this age range. That's a small kind of item. Found this one here that's just matching all the superheroes. So that's pretty cool. And then let's go on to play foam. Educational Insights has this play foam pals, which has a like a, a mystery figure inside. So you can collect those or you can buy these in packs on their own. They're just like a little pod of play foam and they come in so many different colors and it's a great sensorial activity and you can buy a whole bunch of it and put it inside a sensory bin if you wanted to. Similar to their new play foam pluffle. And this comes in different colors and you can buy a couple of different ones and mix them together. It never dries out and it feel, has like a nice sensory feel to it. It's fluffy, feels good, and the kids really like that. So that's another good stocking stuffer filler kind of idea. Wiki sticks I really love. You can use this for tracing numbers and alphabets. You can make your own pictures with them and they're just basically yarn that's covered in a wax-like material. So it's a little sticky, but they stay. So this little set here is very affordable and it comes with a lot of different colors. I think this is pretty good. You can even put a little bit of this in your purse and take it with you to the restaurant. And you know, I love my restaurant activities. And so that's another option there. A slinky is a fun option for this age. If they've never seen one or used one or put one down the stairs, that's going to be fun to learn and explore. As is the traditional Silly Putty. And you can find the Silly Putty at the dollar store. It's a little pricey here on Amazon, but Silly Putty is a great option. And I really like that it's a thicker putty. So it's great for hand strengthening. And of course you have your other putties too, like the Aaron's Thinking Putty. I found a couple examples of that. And it's just the same thing. Just great for working those muscles. It's pretty and the kids like it. And it's very sensorial. And then of course, speaking of uh, sensory stuff. We have the Mad Matter. I showed you this in another video, one of the very first sensory gift guide videos I showed you. Are They have these little small pods, so they're much smaller. So these would be great stocking stuff for two and so many different colors and styles in this. And so I think these would be perfect starting at the preschool age and working your way up for these. Even the older kids would like these. Another one I showed you in an earlier video was the Play Dirt, similar in concept to the like kinetic sand type feel. So inside is like this nice textured brown look like dirt, but 
it's not. It's like the cleanest dirt ever. And then there's a couple of bugs in this jar that you can go and find the bugs inside. Put this in a sensory bin. It's a pretty amazing material and it's a lot of fun. These little guys were sent to me for review and I thought they would be great inside a, a stocking stuffer too. This one is called, I think I'm saying it right, Mushmi, I think, I think. And then these are squeezamoles. I have the sloth here and looks like the little puppy dog. And this one, you squish it and it's kind of like almost has a memory foam inside, almost. And it just kind of is squishy. It's, it's not like a gel. It's hard to explain, but it's rather addictive and it's very, very soft. I love the plushy outer material. So there's this one, which I think is a great sensorial activity. I have a child that is very sensory seeking and she's had her hands on this ever since I opened the box. And I think that it's a really great sensory seeking tool and you can sleep with it too. And, and it has a very calming effect to it. These are very similar to this. So they're just in a different form and a little bit smaller and they come in different shapes and they're very, very squeezable. So these are actually pretty cool and we like those. So I have to thank them for sending those to me. And then I want to mention too for preschool on up is like surprise mole toys or those surprise toys. These are two that were sent to me where you would open up the egg. I just like them because they're small. I'll show you here and they can fit very easily into a stocking. And the thing about these two is just depending on what your child likes can make it vary on what you actually get. But these little eggs, you just open them up. These have little plushies inside. Here we have, oh, that's so cute, a little star. And you can collect those. And some kids are really, really into this. So I would highly recommend that. And then let me see what this one is. And you can find all kinds of surprise toys out there. This is just what has happened to be sent to me. Oh my word, it's a butterfly, super cute. Moving on up to a little bit older, maybe the kindergarten and up age, six, seven, eight year old, depending. I think you can find a lot of options for stocking stuffers in that age range, including like sticker sets. These Melissa and Doug sticker sets were a lot of fun where you can reuse them and move them to different spots and they're puppy stickers. Um, it's these black scratch pads. If you guys haven't tried these, these are a lot of fun too, to make some artwork. So basically there's color underneath and you scratch away the black to make a picture. And these pads are pretty affordable too and they're a big hit. You can put those in a restaurant kit. I also would recommend a jump rope. If you haven't already bought one, you can also buy these at the Dollar Tree. But this one I found just had some books to go along with it and I thought that was pretty cool. Jump roping is a great skill to have and it gets them outdoors. And I do like jacks too. If you have a child that has the dedication and patience for jacks, I think we should bring that back. Safari LTD tubes are another great option because they are small and compact. These are great for sensory bins. They come in so many different styles that you're going to find one that your kid likes. I love these and then you can use them for unit studies because they're so realistic and lifelike and you can use them for animal matching. You can use them for imagine it to play. So many uses on these and that's a really good one that's going to last you a long time. I do like story cubes. Story cubes I've been talking about in my storytelling videos and how you can use those. So they have a whole variety of different story cubes that I think are great. Travel games. So the travel games like this one here called penguins or they're really small and compact and can fit in the stocking which are also great for traveling. If you're going anywhere out of town for the holidays, um, Simon is a fun one, but it is a sound-based game. That one would probably have to stay at home. Canoodle is a great one. I really have recommended that one before in the past as I have Travel Spyograph, really great travel games. IQ Stars is another one we like a lot. It fits in our restaurant kits. Games, I would highly recommend Spot It, which is a great activity, which is fit right into that stocking as well as Uno or any other card game, really. I'm just giving you some examples here. And then a little bit on the artsy side would be some Silly Scents, which are great sensorial because they smell. This one in particular is a sweet smelling pack. They also have yucky smells too, which can be kind of fun depending on your child. And then the Crayola Twistables I really like for this age range because it's just, they're, they're crayons, but they're just kind of like a nicer crayon. And then of course, we cannot forget the Plus Plus blocks, which fit great into a restaurant kit too, as they would a stocking. I showed you guys this one before. It is the Coils. It's in a past holiday gift guide that you can go back and watch and see how they work. And the size of it's really cool. You can buy smaller packs too that could fit right inside a stocking, kind of like a blind bag or a mystery bag. Or you can buy this larger set that I have here that would also fit inside a stocking. Probably more for your seven-year-old and up, but it's, it's a really great one. Even if you go up to your 10-year-olds, they probably will enjoy this. These were sent to me for review too, and I think they would be fun for a stocking stuffer. It's for ages five and up. It's from Zing. They're called Zax. This one is your little um, throwing axe-like thing. You know those games that they have for the adults, or actually for anyone, I guess, where you can throw things like the real axes at walls and get some aggression out. This one you can throw at windows or walls and they will stick. Let me see if I can make it stick on the table here. It sticks to walls, it sticks to doors, it sticks to ceilings, cargo vans, bathtubs, hippos, anything that will take that suction cup. It's made out of like this kind of foam to it, so it's not really hard at all. But anyway, when you throw it, it sticks. 
So if I threw it on a flat surface in my kitchen door or on my window, it's gonna stay. And so you can have contests there trying to figure out if you can get it to stick higher, stick from a farther distance and work on your battle ax throwing. I'm kind of having fun here. Okay, I need to stop this. Anyway, this would fit great in the stocking. Of course, it's gonna fit out the top, but it will be a huge hit with your kids, I bet. <laughs> nice. I also wanna recommend some play sets. This one just happened to get sent to me. With play sets, this one's called the Tiny Tuckins play set. And with play sets, they are just great for imaginative play. And of course, depending on the style that your child likes, this one just has the play set inside. See, the box is actually part of the play set. And then this one, what do we got here? We have a crib. We have a little backpack in here too. We have some baby food. And then we have like a little girl, maybe a mama puppy dog, and then a baby one that can be in the crib. And then a pillow and a blanket. And so the thing with these is that you can use these for imaginative play, but you can also use it for guided play, especially if you're doing speech therapy things or are working on some concepts. Like you can say, can you put the the little puppy dog inside the crib? Or can you put the puppy dog next to the crib? Or can you put the puppy dog under the blanket? And so you can have like working on prepositional phrases. Little play sites like this, you don't need too many of them, just one can go a long way if you know how to stretch it. Kind of like this one because everything just fits right inside. That's kind of neat. You can have it stored away flat. So if you're interested in this one, it's the Tiny Tuckins Preschool Playtime. This one they recommend for ages three and up and there's 11 pieces in here plus those two little plush dolls. So now I have to tell you about this giveaway I'm doing. If you aren't subscribed to the Purple Alphabet, please go ahead and do so. It's free, it's fast, it's easy. And if you set up your notifications, you'll know when a new Purple Alphabet video is up. I'm gonna be announcing the giveaway winners this week, so you gotta be paying attention because you'll have 72 hours to respond to claim your prize. But for this giveaway, I'm giving away one of these mush me's, and I hope I'm still saying that right because I'm not quite sure, but it's so cute and squishy, I couldn't help not to give this away. It's a great sensory item, and it's small, would fit perfect in a stocking. So if you would like to win one of these, let me know down below in the comments who you'd be giving it to. Just kind of curious. Then head over to the giveaway link to officially enter to win. You must be 18 years of age or older and have a US postal address. And I'm gonna put a secret hidden clue in the video, not only in the video, but somewhere on social media. So you might wanna check that out. There will not be a Facebook one for this one. And then make sure to watch the other Purple Alphabet Holiday Gift Guide videos because it's still not too late. We're coming down to the wire. We're really close. Just have a little bit of time left. You guys, make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.